G'day fellow color enthusiasts and welcome to the channel. I have a real treat for you guys today. This is a feature that has helped me to grade at a faster pace while still maintaining a better consistency from shot to shot. I recently finished grading an episodic TV series and the client needed to meet a really tight deadline. Now the timeline for this grade was quite challenging and I found myself leaning on a few key features within DaVinci Resolve. Today I'll be demonstrating one of those features called Neighbor Clips. This is such a simple trick once you know about it, but it can really help you level up your shot matching game. So let's get into it. As you can see, I am sitting on the color page in DaVinci Resolve. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I have a few clips just sitting here in the timeline. Now, what we'll be focusing on today is a key feature which is embedded inside the viewer. And to activate that feature, we just need to make our way up to this middle icon up here in the top left corner. Now, by clicking on this, what happens is we enable a drop down tab in the top right. And by clicking on this drop down tab, we gain access to a bunch of powerful features. Now, the one we're looking for today is neighbor clips. I will be dropping some content covering the other features in here. So be sure to look out for those. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click that and see what happens. Okay, so what is happening and why is this beneficial? Well, by enabling neighbor clips, this allows me to see in a four way view, the neighboring shots which surround any clip I have selected down here in the timeline. One of the most difficult aspects of color grading is shot matching. And this trick can be an absolute lifesaver whenever you might be fine tuning your grade or maybe you're working with a difficult scene that has some shots in there that just feel out of place. This feature allows me to grade my clips as normally while still being able to eyeball the surrounding clips, taking that information into consideration. Using scopes is one thing, but as colorists, our role is to harness all the tools we have available to us in the most efficient manner. One of those tools is our keen eye which comes into play the most during the polishing phase. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, hit that like button. I drop videos weekly, so subscribe to stay up to date with future content. Happy grading.